So aside from the fact that I'm probably gonna die before I find my way out of this place, uh, this is kinda creepy. And by kinda, I mean really creepy. I got a lot of loot though, so that's a good thing. But, uh, creepy nonetheless. How's it going everybody? I'm IGP and welcome back to Subnautica. Today we're gonna try and locate the shipwreck, which is a bit different than the debris wrecks that you see outside the Aurora uh, when you go exploring around it. This one is its own mini biome. It's in the grassy plateau area and it's an explorable place that has loot and enemies and all kinds of stuff and it's supposed to be much bigger than the other ones and I really want to see this. Um, I had to restart the game in order to have access to it because some of the experimental mode updates aren't really applying to my current save game, which kind of makes sense because that's how it works for the stable build. But it sucks because I have to restart. But the good thing is, is I have my pro boater that has all the stuff inside of it, and I'm not gonna really have a base in this season, necessarily, unless I build on like one of the islands or something. Uh, so basically, whenever there's an update, I wanna show you something. If it's not in my current save game, I do have to restart, so you guys might see some, uh, you know, things reappearing that may not or should not be there uh, just because I have to restart the game. So I did the best I could to replicate what I have. I'm pretty sure I'm almost 100% accurate. The only other thing is I have more uh, power in my boat here. Speaking of power, if you guys didn't notice, I actually rearranged the solar panels on top. Uh, I don't know if it actually makes a difference, but I imagine that we want to cover all bases, so... <laughs> get it? Anyway, uh, so any direction the sun might be, I want to make sure I catch it somehow, so... I kind of rearranged them. We'll add a bunch more once we get there. Uh, but yeah, so I figured it out. Basically, the way it works is that, uh, the power cells will eventually deplete and all the power is going to be, uh, limited to how many, uh, solar panels I have. Each of them comes with, I think, 50 power. So if I have 10, you know, I'm gonna have 500 power and that recharges during the day and I can use it during the night and that does everything. It operates the fabricator, it operates the, uh, recharging of the Seamoth and everything. So I think we're just gonna cover this entire thing, get up to maybe like a thousand and then we're good to go. So other things we're gonna try to accomplish today is we're gonna go ahead and upgrade the tanks, which I can do right now while I'm talking to you guys. Uh, we're gonna stock up on food and water and then we're going to find the pressure compensation module. So before we head out to get the pressure compensation module in the mushroom forest or the blue blueprints of that module. I want to talk to you guys about the names that we came up with. Now, I asked you guys to come up with a creative name that plays on the whole pro boater, pro floater thing uh, for the Cyclops now that it's going to be solar powered. I think it's time for a name change. Uh, the general consensus and a lot of you guys actually immediately commented pro solar and that works really well and I really like that one except I found one that one of you guys recommended by the name of uh, Cam Botherway, I don't want to say that wrong, uh, the Glow Boater. I think that's f fucking awesome. I don't know if uh, it works as well as Pro Solar does. I don't know. I think I'm going to go with this one. I know I, I know the general consensus was Pro Solar, but I really, really, really like this one. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Uh, thank you guys for participating in that and coming up with all the awesome stuff. So all we really have to do is go like this. Also, we talked about the name of the planet. Uh, now, <laughs> the debate is still up in the air. Uh, now there's been a lot of- it's actually funny how much research is being done to find out what this fucking thing in the sky is. Uh, whether it's the moon or the planet or we're on the moon or a planet. Whatever the case is, we can't come to a decision. There's arguments on both sides. So, what we're gonna do is combine two of my favorite names that I found that you guys suggested. Uh, one is for, and I'm sorry if I butcher your name, Nicola Rakic? Rasic? Rasic? I don't know how to say that, I'm so sorry. But you recommended doing Billy. Which is hilarious. I don't know why when I said Billy and looked at it, it looked hilarious. Now, I also like the idea of Plune that James Davis came up with combining uh, the planet and the moon, which is exactly what is going on. So, I'm going to combine those two even further, combination within a combination, and call it Billy the Plune. That is the name of the, of the, the, the thing up in the sky. Anyway, Billy the Plune, that's the name. I wasted so much time. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the Seamoth. And head out over to the mushroom forest and see if we can't find ourselves a pressure compensation module blueprint fragment thing that I can put in the fragment analyzer to gain a blueprint from. And then be able to make. I have to find the stuff for it. I have no idea what's required to make it. Salt deposits probably respawned. Or not even respawned. I just haven't picked up any in this entire planet so far. Because, again, I had to start over. So, hopefully there'll be a surplus of them laying around everywhere. It's gotta be over here. Yeah, there we are. See, that scares me. It looks like the rib cage for the Lost River that's not implemented yet. Alright, so, I guess I'll just get out here. I need to get out- Oh, no! Alright, let's get out, drink some water. Yeah, we're out of, uh, we're out of water, so we need to get some salt deposits if we can find some. Okay, so we're looking for a module 
or a fragment, excuse me, which would allow me to dive deeper with it. And since I'm gonna have solar energy, I just rise to the top when I need more energy during the day, and then I can pretty much go wherever I want. That's the plan, anyway, for the Cyclops. Pro boater. Glow boater, actually. <laughs> the glow boater. Ah, thanks for the name, guys. It's awesome that you guys can participate in that. I really like that you guys have an input and can be a part of, uh, you know, this whole thing going on. Oh, what? No, where the hell are- are there any here? I was told that they were here. Now, I don't know that for sure. There are a lot of Subnautica experts out there in the comment section. They even come oh, here we go. Ah. Oh! Yes, that's really all I needed. All right, let's get back to the sea moth and head back home. Man, I'm dying on all kinds of levels, man. I'm <sighs> starving. I should have gathered some food, but I didn't. I wish I could make synthetic food. I, I think I can uh, with some of the stuff in a base. Now, that's the only bad thing is that not doing a base means I won't be able to make, like, farming trays and such. So that kind of sucks. But, you know, whoa, what happened to the fragment you know, fabricator? Why are you going inside the wall? Okay, so Psychops Pressure, let's put that in there. And we'll let that analyze. What percentage do you want for that? 1%. 7%. Okay, so it's going up a little bit. It's very hard to see that for some reason. Yeah, I think I'll just have two, maybe. I don't know the depth in which it changes. Uh, and I currently actually don't know the depth uh, of what it is. So, we'll find out when I upgrade it, because that will tell us, like, the new- Here's the new stuff! I need to get food! God damn it, I'm running out of- Life in general? I should get some salt, too. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get some salt. And, uh, a few coral... ...samples. Three, four, five coral samples. If we can get five salts, that'd be super fucking fantabulous amazingly. This peeper's not looking at anything. He's not really peeping today. He's not feeling the peeps. Here we go. That sounded weird. Alright, well, four salt will do. That's four disinfected water. I'm really not trying to stress it. I got two potential batteries here. We're just gonna head on over and, you know, not die from oxygen deprivation, you idiot. 97%! Awesome, we're gonna be able to make it eventually. Okay, so let's do... what are we trying to do here? We are trying to make a bleach, times five, I think. Be nice to just carry that water around everywhere. And again, I'm gonna have a mobile home, so... Awesome, okay, so we got that. Let's make a few batteries, too. So we can have, uh, spares for the sea glide Because we're awesome like that. Okay, disinfected water, let's drink one. We're good. Okay, so... Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I need a plasteel ingot. Holy shit. Okay, how do you make that again? That's a titanium ingot and... Uh... Lithium. So I need to find some lithium. Well, fan-fucking-tastic, let's do it! So the mushroom forest was kind of my savior last time. I think I found the lithium pretty easily here, so I'm gonna try again. I just need two, and then a bunch of scrap metal to make- Oh my god, look. That was easy. Let's get some scrap metal while we're on the way. I think, uh, usually there's some around here. Again, the aurora kind of splattered all over the place. It was like a balloon full of metal, like liquid metal, and just like- and spread it everywhere. Oh, salt deposits, great. I don't need them anymore. Asshole, they're like, oh, here you go, you need these still? I know you were looking everywhere for them and took you forever. Okay, so I just need ten per... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then that's eight right there. So it's sixteen, I need four more, so I can find one more scrap metal. Welcome I will be country. good. And this will be a very successful and quick run, actually. There is a fragment I want to look at, but I'm not going to because that's just a distraction. Ha! Actually, there's a ton out here. Calm down, Seamoth. Last time I jumped out of you, you hit me and almost died. Alright, we got what we needed. Let's go back home. Back to my Glow Boater. Glow Boater! If you guys like the name Glow Boater, please comment below and say hashtag Glow Boater. Because, because reasons. Alright, so let's dock this thing, make what we need to make, and then we shall be good to go look for that shipwreck that you guys have been waiting for about, you know, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes for. Metal salvage is what it's called now. I did not know that name changed. It was always scrap metal to me. And then let's make two of these. And then we could make our modules. And we'll see the difference it kind of makes. Uh, for the depth that we can go. Now let's take a look. I'm very curious to see the difference. And I'm actually very curious to see what I have right now, so... Okay, so... Depth, 300 meters. Crush depth is now 400. Let's add another one. 500 and 600. Oh, dude, that's awesome. So I think we'll be able to go to the, sh the shipwreck pretty... pretty easily now. This is amazing. Let's go ahead and save that. 
And let's head on over. So it's going to be to the east, pretty much where the mushroom forest is, just kind of a little bit farther. So that's what we're gonna do now. I wanna see this wreck, this is kinda cool. Um, some explorable stuff. Also, I had heard that there are abandoned sea bases. As if people were already on this planet before moon thing planet. So, I kinda wanna find those. I don't wanna spoil myself and know where they are though. I think I have an idea of where one is because I can't help other people who like to spoil it for others, but... Um... It might be in the Jelly Shroom Caves. And I'm afraid to go in there just because those fucking, fucking crab snakes are unbelievably ridiculously hard. And, uh... I'm very afraid that I'll die going in there. I don't want to die, because then I'll lose half my shit and have to go all the way back just to get the sea moth. And on top of that, finding the goddamn opening for it is pretty hard. I mean, I have the general idea of where it's at. Okay, so I think... I don't know. I don't know where they said. Oh, hi, Reef Back. So are you guys guiding me to it? Damn, I can't believe we can go 500 meters now for safe depth. S up to 600 before we start taking any uh, permanent damage. And I think, I don't know if the solar pan, you know what I didn't try? I actually did not try using the little, uh, power transmitter. It extends the range of the power source. So then I can actually be a little bit down and collect, what do I need for that again? Let's, gold and titanium. I have two gold. Let's make two of the, or make one of those. Let's make one of those and put it up top here. Can we do that? Okay, please don't spawn any crazy enemies. Oh, dude, that's beautiful. Okay, uh, let's just put one right... Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I don't know what that means. Can I get all of them? Can I get all of them in here? Oh my gosh, I can. This is good. This is very, very good. Who? Oh! What the hell? What is happening to the globe motor right now? Hey, calm down. Calm down. Go home, you're drunk. Oh, is it- is it- is it weighing it down? Seriously? Is it? Okay. I'm gonna have to get rid of that. God! The power transmitter is weighing down the glow boater. It is down and out. Okay, so that's not a good idea. <laughs> not at all. How can I even fix this? This looks like trouble right now. Okay. Uh... Eh... Pilot. Can we get up? Oh, yes we can. Ah, we fixed ourselves. We'll do that in another episode. I don't necessarily know that that's a good idea. <laughs> I don't... Okay, we're... Oh, shit! Oh, that just sent chills down my spine. I had no idea that motherfucker... I mean, I knew they were around, but Jesus Christ. Hi, Mr. Slimy Tentacles. I know you're not gonna hurt me. Okay, where the fuck's this wreck? And it's actually supposed to be a tall, like, tower-looking thing. Is this it? <gasps> Is this it? Did we find... Oh, I think we found it. Oh, yeah. That was actually pretty easy to find. Ooh. Yeah! It's not as big as I thought, but... We are fucking here. I actually didn't even need to do those pressure compensation things. It wasn't even, uh... Wasn't even that deep. Okay. So, park it here. Let's park the glow boater. Get out. Is the sun helping? It is not recharging, so that's fine. I need to extend the range somehow, and it seems like when I put that... Power transmitter down. It's it's fucking it all up. Okay, so we're gonna explore around. See, oh shit! What the fuck? I need to make a goddamn stasis rifle or a propulsion cannon. Let's make a propulsion. Did I make one yet? No. How do I make a propulsion cannon? Propulsion cannon. Okay, advanced wiring kit, battery, and a silicone rubber. Okay, I have a battery. I can get a silicone rubber, and then advanced wiring kit is what again? Let's make that real quick before we actually do this. I know I'm wasting your time even more. You guys are like, so excited to see this thing. So I need one more gold. Uh, one more silver. Don't worry, I'll cut all this out so you don't have to wait any longer. <sighs> okay. I think I have what I need. Not too sure. Haven't double checked. Computer chip. Got the gold to get the advanced wiring kit. And we should be able to... Where is it? Terraformer, propulsion cannon, silicone rubber. Oh, I need one more quartz. Ah, I wasn't done. I thought I was. Shit. There's gotta be a quartz laying around here somewhere. All this just to explore this wreckage. God, I hate my life. And you guys are like, will you just stop? Where the fuck is a quartz? Are you kidding me? I'm going to shit on this game. I'm going to print off a picture of this game and uh, destroy it. Okay, so I don't think I'm gonna find a quartz. 
Surprisingly, there are none left on the planet. There are no quartz left ever. Severe oh, severe dehydration can shut up, is what it can do. <laughs> Whoa, actually, I think I found the entrance to one of those caves. You know, the jelly shroom caves that I don't want to go into? Well, fuck me! We're gonna cut it off, uh, this area, and the next episode I'm gonna go there, because I gotta get a magnetite in order to get a damn compass! Ah, and I said I was gonna put off the goddamn propulsion cannon to the next episode, dude. I'm just all over the place today. There has got to be a quartz. I don't understand how there are no fucking quartz anywhere. Alright, so this area should be perfect to find a quartz. Let's hope I can locate one of these bad boys. I wonder if the game's like, hey, I know he needs one. Let's just get rid of them all. We'll code in a special, a special code for IGP. Once he realizes he needs a quartz, we're gonna just delete them all. Oh my god, look at me. All right, get the fuck back. Oh, man. I'm so angry. I didn't feel like traveling back. Okay. Silicone, rubber. I will destroy everything you love. I will. I knew there was two, but I thought I had one. Fuck my existence into pieces, please. Well, there's a bunch of fucking gasopods over here having sex. Making more gasopods useless- look at that. Useless fucking creatures that- I don't know. Why do you exist? What do you contribute? I'm just hating on everybody right now, I'm so angry. Where the fuck is this quartz? Oh my god, I think I found one. Guys, I found it. The ultimate- the ultimate item of Subnautica that will make me win the game. Can we do this now, please? Thank you for giving me the opportunity to make a silicone rubber, because I've wanted to do that my entire life, and make a goddamn propulsion cannon. Shit! Why does it take so goddamn long to do that? Alright, so let's put that on three, flashlight on five, bam. Okay, I'm done. Calorie deficiency? Calorie deficiency can shut the fuck up as well. Don't need it. Don't need food, who needs food? Alright, so let's do- let's do- let's do the, uh, exploration of the shipwreck, huh? Now that we're, uh, really deep into this episode, I think it's a perfect time to do it. Oh, we can find some- oh, can I get speed fish? Let's eat that. Distractions, again. I need to eat, though, guys. You guys know I need to eat. Okay, we're good. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Okay, so there's enemies. Let's try to, uh, you know, pick this one up and, uh, shoot it against- oh, it hit me! What dicks? I don't think- oh, they fire stuff at me, that's why. Wow, that hit a lot, dude. Okay, so I made it just for that, and, uh, it was kind of pointless. <laughs> to be completely honest with you. Alright, so what are we looking at here? It's a nice little shipwreck. I can appreciate this wreck. I can appreciate this piece of the, uh... Now, I th This might... That sounds really weird. This might actually be... Why is this floating? Oh, it's a signal. Nice. This might actually be a part that came off from the explosion, and not necessarily from, uh, you know, when it crashed. What is that beeping sound? Another signal. Two signals, okay, so that's gonna be good for us later on. Ooh! Whoa, the signals create an auto- an auto blip! Landmass detected and heat signature. Bro, that's awesome. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that, uh, they do that now, so I don't actually have to hold them. Do they have, like, icons? Oh, no, they're no longer an item. Oh, they are. Wait a second. Oh, they go here. That's neat. I gotcha. And I can keep two at a time. That's pretty nice. I like that idea way better. Takes up a slot for a potential compass and other things that might be important, but, you know, whatever. No one needs it. Okay, I'm gonna go in this giant hole inside of the, uh, the shipwreck. I'm gonna go into the, uh, the arse of the shipwreck. See if we can't find something good inside here. Did I already open this up? Yeah, I did. Okay. So here we are at the arse of the shipwreck. Oh, hi. Look, dude. You, you, whoa. Okay. Dude, I'm getting, I'm getting swarmed over here. Ha, boom, boom. Y'all can't touch this. Let's get a flashlight, see if we can't, uh, okay, so what can I do here? That's locked. Can't do anything with that. I wonder if I can, oh, I know I can get a laser cutter, right? That's something, ooh. Okay, I suddenly got a really strange feeling. I'm feeling actually kind of nervous going into this. We haven't seen anything like this yet in the game, so... This is kind of cool. So what else is there in here? Looks like there's a bunch of stuff, I just don't know where to look at- Whoa! Something just propelled me faster... ...than normal. So I can't- I can't 
tell exactly what this is. I'm gonna go ahead and reset my oxygen just so, you know, let's get a boomerang too. Might as well. Let's see if we can get our health up to like a hundred so we can fucking, uh, you know, survive. That's not gonna happen. I don't have time for that. Okay, get some, uh, let's see if I can't look out here. Let's go ahead and take a peek. I can't tell what this is. Like, what part of the ship this is. Then again, the, the ship is the size of the fucking United States, so I don't know if, uh, we'll be able to decipher what this is. But that looks pretty pretty. I gotta say, it's a beautiful little, uh, little re- Hi. Alright, so oxygen's back. Let's go ahead and go down. I don't care about the heat signature. Alright, let's explore a little bit more. I don't know exactly what- I'm not gonna go in there. That's just enemy inf filled infestation, and I don't- I don't really see a purpose. Okay. So, this is- can I go underneath? I can go underneath. There's nothing significant going on here. Oh, can I go through this door over here? Oh, yes, I can. Oh, what is this? Uh-uh, you're gonna let me in that room. Mother- You glitchy sons of bitches. I wanna get in there. Can I please? May I please? How do I get in there? Okay, so, now there's a mission! <laughs> there is- There is indeed a- What? There is indeed a mission! Uh, to get inside- Okay, so we can't go through the asshole. Oh, let's go over here. Here we go. This looks like a nice place to enter. I'm not scared at all. <laughs> oh my god, what? <gasps> oh. Oh, I thought I was gonna have another pressure. Okay, see these sounds? Not a huge fan. Not a fan of it. Reflections look nice. Um... Okay, so I was in the ass. So... Can I... Okay, so I guess I could get through that door. I think the laser cutter might actually work on that door. Uh, I don't know how to make a laser cutter, though. I wanna get down there! You are not gonna sit here and tell me that I can't get into that thing without a damn laser cutter. Let's see if there's another entrance somewhere. I'm moving really slow around this. Even though I'm speeding... Speeding away. So we have a cargo thing over here, it looks like. Oh, I want in here now. Let me in. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is way too interesting of a room to just taunt me with. Like, to throw this at me saying, Hey, look at all this cool shit in here, but we're not gonna let you get in unless you have an item that you don't even know how to make. This is just great. I'm gonna have to look this up. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. No, 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 no. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Ah, get in. Okay, so while that's recovering, I'm gonna go ahead and look up Hypnotica Wiki. Okay, so it turns out the laser cutter is in development, but I don't- let's see if we can spawn one. I- I really wanna see... Cutter. Oh, I got one. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, let's put that to, uh, four. Oh, wow! Look at that thing! Oh, man! Oh, we're gonna- we're going in there now. I actually don't know if this works, guys, but it should. I don't know exactly what to do with it. I'm gonna try that door, I guess, at first. Well, let me try down here. Nah, I can't do that. Uh, it's definitely teasing me. I wanna get in there. So, we're gonna go up here. This sounds scary as fuck. Alright, so let's try this door. Open. Oh, I didn't even notice I can open that! Oh, wow, look! I'm an idiot! I spawned in this laser cutter, didn't even need it! Look at all these benches, though. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <gasps> Whoa, there's a... Wow, okay. We're getting a little bit of a story here. That's neat. I am terrified right now. Do you see this, guys? This is what I came in from, which is pretty much the asshole of the wreck. Strange rumbling, I open this door with this awesome animation, it's dark, I have a flashlight, there's a bunch of papers floating around. This is actually very terrifying. In fact, this kind of reminds me of Soma. Not a big fan right now. I mean, I love Soma and I love this game, but it's kind of scary. Alright. Woo, that's cool. Was it like a Terminator? Natural sele- Oh, wow, natural selection. Cool. The- this- what they- they develop. Okay, so that looks dangerous. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that I shouldn't touch that. And, uh, let's go ahead and open this door, huh? Sealed door. Cut open to access. Good thing I have my handy dandy laser cutter. Oh, it's actually... Wow. Alright, so just casually cutting open a door here. And, uh, now we have access to- I don't know how this worked underwater. That's- that's amazing shiz right there. And we're gonna go ahead and go into the creepy wreckage here. And try to find some more stuff. I'm terrified. I mean, I guess that's the best way to describe how I feel right now. Oh, besides the fact that I'm gonna die! God! 
This is impossible to traverse, man. You want me to do so much stuff? It takes up so much time to do. Let's get- let's just warp me. Warp me back, let me be safe. Okay. Let's let that recover for a bit and we'll go back. Alright, let's head back inside. To see the creepy stuff here. It's no longer night time, so I'm gonna be a little bit less of a bitch. You know? A little bit less of a bitch. Okay. So we're in the wreckage here. This is the door open. This is the door I caught. Oh, man. Wait, so this door was already open? Oh, I didn't even know this was here. Oh, okay, so it's not actually somewhere I can access. Very nice. Okay, so I can probably open this door. No, this door's locked. Uh, this looks dangerous. Let's not do that. Eh. Oh, God. Guys, I'm super terrified. If there is a monster down here... If there is a monster in this- I heard rumbling! If there's a monster in here, I am going to die. Not just in the game, but in real life. Oh, I'm in the room I wanted to be in! God, I'm so excited! What is in this cargo stuff? Okay, so this is just an exit here. Nothing secret. Okay, so we're in the cargo room. Look at this- Look at this beast thing. What, uh, what can I do with all this? Okay, so this- Oh! Filtration machine fragment. Is this where this thing spawns? Is this the only place I can get that? Because that's kind of nice that I have that now. If I can build that on my mobile base, I'm going to be so happy. I wonder if that's what all this was. All this was just to get that. So aside from the fact that I'm probably going to die before I find my way out of this place, uh, this is kind of creepy. And by kind of, I mean really creepy. I got a lot of loot though, so that's a good thing. But, uh, creepy nonetheless. Alright guys, well that was the wreckage. I think that that was the actual secret. I don't know that I can get that fragment piece anywhere else. So that's- what? Hello? <laughs> what is- What just hit me? Man, this game is getting glitchier and glitchier. Anyway, yeah, I don't think I can get that anywhere else. That's kind of nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that fragment in here. Uh, and let that, uh, give me the blueprint for the, uh, water filtration machine. Now, if, uh, I can put that in here, I will be super fucking happy. I think I can, though. There's a lot of room to just place stuff. Uh, hopefully I can do that. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the exploring of the shipwreck, please leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know that you did. Also, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date with all my latest videos. I love you all, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Subnautica. Bye-bye.